Well, here at home, we now know that rain is here with more possible rain tonight. The question for meteorologist Clay Smith is how much more rain are we going to get? Clay, are we in a deficit right now? Oh yeah, Calvin, definitely. We're dealing with those moderate drought conditions from the latest drought monitor that came out this week, but we are getting some beneficial rain. Some are going to get more than others. In fact, very heavy rain across Catoosa County. And you can see that first little wave moving through this afternoon could have additional pop up storms a little bit later this evening. But as we kind of take it step by step here across the Tennessee Valley, notice some really heavy rain just setting up across portions of Ray and Meigs County from Spring City down into Dayton. Some heavier showers off to the east of Pikeville. This is all moving towards McMinn County. So Athens, you haven't got your rain yet, but it should be on the way. Some light rain in and around Cleveland, heavier showers along the Georgia Tennessee line or Catoosa and portions of Southern Hamilton County. We also had a little bit of rain in Chattanooga, another wave about to push through. You can see that heavy rain into Jasper and South Pittsburgh and then panning down into Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama. Very heavy storms moving through Fort Payne, about to push into Southern Dade and Walker counties, heavier rain around Somerville and Tryon. And again, just a deluge coming down in Ringgold. So heading down 75 towards Dalton, going to be a lot of wet roadways. So just be mindful of that. Nothing severe, but there will be some frequent lightning and very heavy downpours as this front continues to push through. Again, on the back side of this, if we can get some more sunshine and instability, there could be another wave of showers and storms later. But right now, the first wave coming through should be out of here by about 2, and then we'll see how the atmosphere recovers. But for your temperatures, generally in the upper 80s to lower 90s, the heat index pushed all the way up to around 104, 104 here in Dalton and Lafayette. Feels like 102 in Cleveland, and that's all ahead of the rain. Now, once the rain comes through, of course, temperatures are going to cool down, but heat advisory is still in effect for northwest Georgia for today and across northeast Alabama. And heat index values, again, could still push over 100 later this evening once the sun comes back out. But a best chance of rain between now and about 6 p.m. And then later this evening, we'll keep slim chance of rain in the forecast, but it does look like most of this will start to taper off. So as we take a look at your future cast, again, don't love this look. I think there's going to be a little bit more between now and four, but notice as we continue through the evening, it's going to be a lot more spotty activity after this first wave. And then by about 10 o'clock, most of that instability dries up and we're going to have drier conditions push again. Now going into Saturday morning, going to keep the cloud cover, maybe some patchy fog early on. Could be a stray shower, but I think Saturday is trending pretty dry here across the Tennessee Valley. We'll just have a mix of sun and clouds by the afternoon. But here's your future cast rainfall again. Some areas could pick up over an inch of rain with those heavier storms that are pushing through, and some may only pick up a quarter to a half of an inch. But nonetheless, beneficial rain coming your way. Temperatures already topped out in the low to mid 90s. We could rebound again this afternoon once this first wave moves out. Scattered storms through this evening, and then tonight most of this kind of fizzles out. Could have some patchy fog develop after midnight and then for your next seven days it does look like we're going to be drier and slightly less humid for your weekend and then daily storm chances will be possible next week with highs in the low to mid 90s calvin all righty thank you clay